Hello, hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, JC Cousins. I'm here again to one of beautiful streets in London, in central London. So, just have a look. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. How are you doing? What's in? What are you doing in London? Uh, well, we just spent the weekend here with my girlfriend. So, where right. you come from? I'm from Spain, but I've been living in England for 15 years. So, in Bristol. In Bristol. So, yeah, what do you think? Southwest. Southwest. What do you think about this street? Can you tell them a little bit about this street where I found you here right now? Well, it's kind of a street. I guess you know this started you know ages ago. I'm not a historian. Uh, as a as you see, uh, as a commercial place, right? It's a commercial place. Commercial. What good things about this street? I guess, you know, that it just focus, you know, on modern people. Also, you good. know, it's about clothes, I guess. Clothes, good clothes. shops. Good shops, I can't... Have you made a shop like Diesel? Honestly, I don't buy here. <laughs> Okay. So I come here, you know, I just like, well, look at me, I'm not even buying. But there must be like something, you know, that I, that I like. For example, there is an American shop there called Dickies. It's a work, it's like actually this kind of trousers. So it's something that maybe, maybe I'll buy. But I don't want to ruin the interview, but I'm, I'm not buying in the street. So basically, majority yeah. people come to buy the clothes here, that most of them are... Tourists, yes. tourists, mainly where they come, which part of the world that they come from? Oh, seen a lot of Asians, Russians as well, believe it or not, they always come here. And I do, I do believe, you know, that because the, the, there is no cars, so it's just like you can just walk around without being bothered, you know, it's just like uh, cars or anything else. So, and there's a lot, a lot of things to see. This is not a cultural place. You don't look for you don't look for culture. The culture you have to look up and look at the buildings. You know how long have they been here? You know, so just these buildings. These I've been buildings, here for quite buildings. a while. Yeah. So they're 100 years ago, 200 years ago. How many so years ago for I this guess, building? I guess 200. 200 years ago. Yeah. There's some uh, little you know uh, plaques. You know, they tell oh here live a, a very famous writer or whatnot. So, and I guess, you know, thinking about it, you know, what do people need? Maybe there was a bakery, maybe there's a shoe shop, the butcher, you know, that basic needs, you know, clothing, uh, tailor, and then, you know, explode. But I think it was more important, Bar uh, Carnaby Street in the 60s. In the 60s. What yeah. was happening in the 60s here? I mean, I was born in the 70s, I yeah. know, so it was uh, 71, but I think, you know, in the 60s, it was just more like, a, you know, the, there was the kids or the people who fought the war. So they were ready for a change, so they were just like second-hand shops, uh, colorful clothes, there was a revolution music, there was a lot of counterculture, it was like a lot of people, you know, complaining, or complaining, no, just against the war. Or not so they were just like and and I think you know there was a cheap place you know to to rent not anymore no and I'm a bit, not anymore. Uh, before it used to be very cheap yeah, to yeah, rent exactly. in this area yeah, there was a, probably there was a lot of artists you know musicians and also there was just like a long history as well for, for music for rock and roll music and there was a lot of it's still they are you know in another near here uh, music shop so they were just kind of thing that related that's, so, that's as far I can go remember but again I'm not from London so I want to know about I want you to tell me a little bit a difference between London or England yeah. and Spain where you come from well, what's the difference just totally opposite language people character food weather compare the Spanish food and the English food which one do you prefer say this is my favorite food oh which is the best yeah. restaurant do you think oh if I go to London restaurants, right. I'll, I'll honestly, crazy about it. Yeah, honestly, uh, when we come here, we go to a Japanese restaurant. Japanese? Yeah, believe it or not. Uh, also, there's a lot of Indian food. And, um, yeah, I don't mind the roast. That's a typical, that's beef. Roast, Beautiful. Roast beef. 
and uh, nice talking to you, sir. Yeah, no problem, man. And uh, enjoy London. Okay, take care. Man. Thank you so much. Let me see what's happening here, yeah, guys. This is a beautiful street in London. Uh, let me see. I can see some change minds. There's something change mind, mental health. Some hello, guys. I just wonder what's happening here. Wild, and we're doing a um, partnership with uh, Man Up, which is a male mental health charity. What, what's happening here? What are you filming? <laughs> so basically, I'm, just, I'm, I'm a YouTuber, so I've just came into Carnaby Street to see what's the beauty in Carnaby Street. So basically, you, how do you help the mental health people uh, as you come in the area like Carnaby Street? So we've created a deodorant case, um, and we're selling it at Boots, and then one pound of the sales are going to uh, Man Up, which is charity here so we've partnered together we're talking to people in um, Harnaby <coughs> Street and in London to open up the conversation on male mental health so basically I'm a fan and we do my shopping booths there next time when I go there I look around and see what's happening there yeah, yeah absolutely do do you have something which is uh, unsensitive skin yeah it's all natural ingredients so it's great for sensitive skin yeah so in all London where do you choose to come in Harnaby Street We've actually been around London. We started in Piccadilly Square and then now we're in Carnaby Street. But it's a nice vibe here, nice and colourful. And the people are friendly usually. Yeah, they are. Yeah. And they're up for chatting. Can you tell me a little bit about Carnaby Street? I, I don't know if I can. And you know what? I'm really sorry, but we don't have to do our building <laughs> All right. Nice talking to you. All right, guys. So this is Carnaby Street. And you heard what the people are saying. It's really a good place if you're coming for the shopping. You can shop around here. They have nice shops around. So, this. so these are the shops. This is one of the shops around here. So this is a really nice place and uh, you see how the shops are run here. And it's lunchtime here, so people just on the lunch. But I'm just showing you around the shops in this area. This is it's lunch time in London here. I'm just showing the shops around. So as you see here, it's a busy street. But doing some constructions. These are the shops. There's another restaurant. Let's see, it's one of the beautiful shops around. See, these are very old, old buildings. Maybe they're built in. 15th centuries or 17th centuries. They are very old, old buildings. You know the good things about England, they really keep their history and they are very, very keen to keep the original stuff. So when you go to some other countries, you're gonna find like having new buildings, and what makes it different between those countries and England, they keep their history, which is amazing to me. It's 
I'm just showing you around the building of London. Yeah. These are very, very old buildings. These are old, old, old buildings. They've been here for centuries. So these bikes, they use them for transporting anyone, but you have to register online and then you can ride all over wherever you want to go in London. And these are one of the restaurants. So beautiful. Yeah. As you see here, all these buildings, they've just renovated them, but they're all old, old buildings. Uh, I could say this is just a new, newish building here. But the majority of buildings here are old, old buildings. This is another restaurant here. And guess what? You know, when you come to London, you cannot fail to get something to eat. They always have some food. So they have a street food here. You can just come and buy the food. You see? You can't fail to eat in London. They always have something to eat. So these are lovely dogs around so basically you can't fail to get some food in London here so they also have something to eat as I see it is lunch time see they have straight food here people you see the beautiful food in London straight food you see people are selling it's lunch time here they have all the type of food you can eat and all fresh food you can see this is beautiful food here these are all local street food it's amazing and most of the people they come from street food and they make big restaurants around london hello how are you doing Hi. what kind of food do you cook here thai fusion thai fusion this is his restaurant oh beautiful very good that's why i've seen a lot of people come from the street yeah. and they make good restaurant around so, we got people from everywhere cooking like every different thing here. It's fantastic. Do you do, you do veg, uh, vegan as well? Yeah, we do vegan. We got a few vegan options. We've even got an aubergine vegan dal at the moment. It's very nice. Where are you from? I'm from Australia. Oh, yeah. So we're I can hear from? the accent. Uh, London. London. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm so good. Are you going to see YouTube? I'm YouTube. Yeah, I'm going to see YouTube. Amazing. Tell them where you're going to see YouTube. 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 Tell them where so look, these are all food. They sell food and there you see that this man has already sold a whole food. What kind of food you sell here? Is it Mexican food or? No, it's Spanish, uh, Spanish food or paella. Okay, this is... Rice, meat, vegetables. Vegetables. How long have you been doing it here? No, I'm just a worker, but my boss is with this. We've been here for, I think, seven, eight months. Seven, eight months. How's the business here? Is it good? I can see yeah, you've already sold that. It's quite good. Yeah, it's quite popular. How much is the portion? Now it's five pounds because we finished. You finished about, if it's not finishing time, how much you sell it? Uh, we have the prices over the board. Yeah, these are the prices. Yeah. Okay. All right, nice talking to you. You see, there's another place here. 
They sell all the beautiful food around here. So when you come to London, don't forget to come and eat some food around this place. It's just in the heart of London. And there's another one here. Wow, this is beautiful. Yes, you can get all types of food here. Yeah, this is amazing. This is street food. This is street food. It's just here on Bulk Street. Bulk Street, the Bulk Street Market. That's where you can find all the beautiful food you see here. I can see there's a gentleman here. He's also selling coffee and so on. When you come back to the street, you have to come in these areas. You can have... Uh, hello, sir. Can I ask you something? What's that? Do you sell uh, this coffee you are selling? Is it organic coffee? It's Ethiopian organic fair trade. Oh, Ethiopian. Oh, beautiful. How much is a cup of coffee? Eh? At the moment, it's 2 because we're trying to encourage people back to work. Brilliant. Nice talking to you, sir. So this is uh, also another restaurant. You see people are... Yeah, they are having... Um, a street food. They are really, it's really beautiful street. So beautiful food. So and also they have shops around here. It's really amazing place. And some here have just finished. I can see they finish. Also they have another one. Nice food. Halal food is here as well. So when you come to London, you come Bulk Street. You can get some good food around here. Hello, sir. How are you doing? I'm good. Are you selling? Uh, is it Moroccan food, Egyptian food? Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Philly steak and Mexican fajitas. Yeah. With our Mediterranean touch. Oh, brilliant! Oh, brilliant! So, so when is it busy time? Like. Yes. Lunch. Around lunch, one o'clock. Yes, now it's now finishing the lunches. All right, thank you so much. They may have this taste and how it feels. So basically, yeah, it's really tastes beautiful. Okay, nice talking to you. Do you have any? Do you have any restaurants around here, or you're planning to open up a restaurant? Because I've seen a lot of people come from the street food and then they... This is very popular, this market. This is 150 years old, this market. Which market, which market is it? What's the, what's the name of this market? Barrick Street Market. Barrick Street Market. It's been here 150 years. If you see the first one and the... The fruit die in the corner? The trolley is very old. Yeah. The trolley is, I think, is over 100 years old. Look, look at the wheels and this stuff. It's okay. the first one over there. So this one has this this street food has been here for 150 years. Yeah, it used to be like a different kind of uh, you know they used to trade like uh, souvenirs and this stuff. But, yeah. Uh, for the past like uh, fruits and you know fruits and souvenirs but for the past 50 years I think uh, sorry 20 years so this was to food. Uh, so almost now everybody here is doing food. Oh, brilliant. Okay, do you enjoy what you're doing? Yeah, of course. How long have you been doing this business? Beautiful. The manager of the other store over there, the falafel store. The falafel store, this one. And then you open your own. Yeah. Oh, good. God bless you. Yeah. So these are another street food here. You see most of them. These uh, they've just closed. They've just finished. Hello. How are you? How are you? Good. How are you? What are you selling here, brother? Falafel. This falafel food. Falafel over Palestine. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I can see all the falafel. So you finish now, right now. So how long have you been running the food here in uh, Bulk Street? Oh, you don't know English. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I don't know Arabic. Anyway, nice talking to you. Thank you. Yeah. So this also, this, this food market has been here for a long, long time ago. So basically, I'm just showing you the beautiful of this um, Bulk Street. It's been here for a long time. Hello, sir. Hello. Can you tell me a little bit about this fruit? How long has it been trading in this place? Oh, 80 years. Eight years. Eighty. 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 Eight zero. Eighty years we've been here. Not me personally, but the family and family yeah, and family yeah, and family. family. So yeah, you've been yeah, doing yeah. this business for a long time. Yeah. So how is it now compared quiet. to those years? A lot quieter. A lot quieter. Yeah. But is it because of COVID or? No, just the world changes, isn't it? The world changes. No. Yeah. Too many supermarkets. Oh, absolutely. And yeah. Yes. Absolutely. You're right. Another thing I was told that there's a 
uh, wheelbarrow has been here for a hundred, uh, hundred years. Yes, this one there. That one. This is the this the one has been here for a hundred years. This one here. It's been here for 108 years. 100 years. This wheelbarrow has been here for 100 years. And this market has been here 100, 150 years. So guys, when you come to London, you can come to Bulk Street from Oxford Circus to here. It will take you about five minutes walk to Bulk Street. So please come and support our locals here. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy my video on this beautiful bulk bulk street on this market please don't forget to subscribe my channel j cousin 24